Alright, so you have a 2007 or a 2008 Honda Fit and you have overheating issues. You've got a couple of sensors in your car. You have ECT1, ECT2. That stands for Engine Coolant Temperature. ECT1 is going to be on the back of your block. I'm not going to be able to get a good shot of this right here. But I can at least show you what the connector looks like. I'll put a picture up to show you the back of the block where it's located. But that right there, that's what the connector looks like. So I'll go ahead and plug that back in. And actually, let me go ahead and show you something. When you unplug that, that should make your hot light come on, which it has. So, the car's not even started and before you could see it was cold. What all I do is just unplug that sensor and that makes the hot light come on. If I unplug ECT2, which is on the back of the radiator, down at the very, very bottom. See if I can zoom in on that a little bit. That little guy right there, that's connected to ECT2. Now, if I disconnect that from the connector right now, both of the fans will turn on. Now, how do you know if the sensor is going bad or not? Well, if your hot light has come on inside your car and you don't hear your fans running, that's a good chance that that sensor has gone bad. And we're going to show you an easy way to try and check to see if both fans are working without even unplugging anything, so check it out. Turn your fan to on. Just one will work fine. And then hit your AC, so make sure your AC turns on. And you should hear both of your fans turn on. Go up to your fans. Make sure that they're both running. Put your fingers, watch, be very careful, but put your fingers behind them and just see if you feel air coming from both fans. If you only have one fan working, well, then you need to either check the connections of the fan to make sure that it's seated in correctly or snug, which the connector for this one is right here. And this is what this one looks like. Here's the connector for this. Okay. So, if you only have one fan running and your connection looks good, try and test it. Just try and end up making a jump from your positive over to the positive end on your uh, connection for your fan. And if your fan doesn't turn on, chances are you have a bad fan. You need to replace that fan. So let's say you know that both fans are working and you still have the hot light come on and the fans aren't kicking on. Well, that is a good sign that that is that ECT2 sensor that has gone bad and you probably need to replace it. Now, if you have both fans turning on, but you're still getting that hot light, chances are you might have a thermostat that needs to be replaced because it's getting stuck. Uh, I hope this information has helped somebody out there and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to show some love. All right, you guys, have a good one.